Lesson 11.5, Unit Cubes and Solid Figures. This is 11.6 in the 2012 copyright version of the textbook. A unit cube is a rectangular prism that is one unit long, one unit wide, and one unit high. It has six square faces and 12 edges. We can use unit cubes to build rectangular prisms and other solid figures by joining or stacking the unit cubes. A unit cube has length, width, and height. A unit square has only length and width. A unit cube is three-dimensional. This is two-dimensional. A unit cube has six faces and 12 edges. If we unfolded the cube, this is one of the ways it would look if it was unfolded. We have six squares. That would be the six faces. And it's got four edges on top, one, two, three, four, four edges on the bottom, one, two, three, four, four edges on the sides, one, two, three, and four. That gives it 12 edges in all. To build a rectangular prism, each row needs to have the same number of unit cubes. So this is not a rectangular prism. It needs two more cubes, two more unit cubes up here to make a rectangle. And yes, this is a rectangular prism. Each row has the same number of unit cubes. It has 10 unit cubes. It's got five on the bottom and five on top. A rectangular prism will have six faces no matter how many unit cubes it is made of. This is one unit cube and it has six faces. That's six flat surfaces. It's got one on the top, one on the bottom, and four going around the sides. This is two unit cubes. It has six faces as six flat surfaces. If we took away this line that's connecting them, we have one surface on the top, one surface on the bottom, and four going around. That's six. Here we have three unit cubes, and it has six faces. One on the top, one on the bottom, and four going around. Because we don't count the faces that are on the inside next to each other. We have to count the surface areas. And this one's made of 20 unit cubes and it has six faces as six flat surfaces. It's got one flat surface on the top, one flat surface on the bottom, and four going around the sides. So some can be hiding on the inside in between in these lines, but that's still one big surface here, and that's one big flat surface. So that's one face. A rectangular prism has the same number of edges as a unit cube. A unit cube has four edges going around the top, and so does a rectangular prism. It's got four edges going around the bottom, so does a rectangular prism. Doesn't matter how many units are in between here. That's one big edge, that's one big edge. And it's got four edges going around the sides, so does a rectangular prism. It's got 12 edges in all, and so does a rectangular prism. It's got 12 edges in all. So this is considered one edge, and that's considered one edge. Even though there's a lot of unit cubes here, it's still one edge for the rectangular prism. This is made of three unit cubes going across, but it's one edge. Here we have shapes A, B, and C. And each of these shapes are made up of six unit cubes. We count one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one has six. But shape C has one unit cube hiding under cube number four and behind cube number six. So cube number five is supporting number four and number three. It's not empty underneath there. There's a cube hiding back there. So there are six cubes in each of these shapes. All rectangular prisms can be made up of unit cubes. 
unit cubes are special rectangular prisms with faces that are squares. And the size of the unit can change with the size of the figure. So one unit might be one centimeter, one inch, one foot, one yard, one meter, and so on. So this could be five inches. These, each unit could be one inch by one inch by one inch. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five one inch cubes. Each of these cubes could be one centimeter. So this could be 15 centimeter cubes. We have three, six, nine, 12, 15 cubes. Here we have 18 cubes. There's six cubes on the top, and then there's six cubes in the middle, and six cubes on the bottom. And six times three is 18. This one is 30 unit cubes. There are 15 cubes up here and 15 cubes below it. That equals 30 unit cubes. We need to compare the number of unit cubes in each solid figure. How many unit cubes are here? Well, I see the one on the top, but there must be one underneath it holding it up. That means we have one, two, three, four, five, six is hiding, and seven is on top. So that's seven unit cubes. Here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six unit cubes. Seven is greater than six. Now, how many unit cubes can you count here? I see one, two, three, four, five unit cubes. And how many unit cubes are here? Well, some are hiding. I see this one back here. There's one, two in the front. There must be one, two in the back holding these top ones up. So that's four, five, six unit cubes. The first layer has four, and there's two in the second layer and five is less than six. So be careful when you're counting these in case there is one that's not showing. You know it's there hiding in the back because it's holding that one up. And we know that there's two in this back row that are holding these two up. We need to count and write the number of unit cubes for each level, then write the total number of unit cubes for that solid figure. So. On this top level here, I see one, two, three. How many cubes are on the bottom level? Well, there's two here, and I see one here, but there must be one hiding in the back holding up this one. There must be four on this lower level. That means it's a total of seven unit cubes. How many unit cubes are here? I see one on this top level, And I see one, two, three, four, five on the bottom level. That's a total of six unit cubes. I see one cube on this top level. I see two orange cubes on the next level. And how many unit cubes are on the bottom level? I can see one, two, three but how many blue cubes are on this bottom level? Well, there must be two underneath the orange ones holding the orange ones up, supporting them. So that means there's four and one more, that's five blue cubes. This figure has eight unit cubes. And look at this figure. How many are on the top? I see one, two, three, four on the top level. And this is a rectangular prism. That means there's four on this level, four on this level, four on this level, and four on this level. We have four on five different levels. One, two, three, four, five. We have five fours. That's 20 unit cubes. They're easy to count when there aren't any missing and they're a rectangular prism. So we've learned that a unit cube has length, width, and height. For these rectangular prisms, we need to find their length, width, and height in unit cubes. For this one, what is the length? So the length that would be coming across 
I see one, two cubes for the length. This is the width. The width on this rectangular prism is one, two, three unit cubes. The height is one, two unit cubes. For this one, its length is three unit cubes across. Its width is two unit cubes. Its height is one, two, three, four unit cubes. In our next lesson, 11.6, it's about understanding volume. We're going to use unit cubes to find volume. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope I'll see you there. Bye.